Hi everyone. Today I wanted to post uh, this video on YouTube so I'm limited by time to just 10 minutes and really not the best quality video. Our, um, our members get a high definition video and get much more than 10 minutes that's for sure. Um, but I wanted to address the subject of um, writing covered calls or um, selling covered options. And uh, now I'm not a broker or a broker, so I'm not making a specific recommendation to buy or sell anything. Um, this is my explanation of a, a trade that we did today. If you can learn from it, great. Um, if you are one of our members and have more detailed questions about the specific, um, not just this chart, but the other charts that we use to do this, uh, please don't hesitate. Uh, for the open public, if you enjoy our videos, uh, feel free to continue to follow. But can you imagine the uh, the information that we impart to our members? For just $99 a month, you can get upwards uh, a minimum of 20 hours of market uh, commentary, but showing market signals that are proprietary and also um, available as a, as a mentor. We also have an, a second level of membership for trading intraday. But let's dig into the trade that we did. Um, earlier today, this morning, this is Regeneron on a, uh, a one by three box uh, point and figure. This is our proprietary uh, uh, signal, um, which indicates when a point and figure is in an uptrend and when it is rallying in price against that uptrend. It also show downtrends and show uh, dips as well. But I want to draw a um, horizontal line and show you where we, where I first entered the trade. And I entered the trade this morning right at about here, 30, and it was right in here on this, um, in this area. Um, and, and it actually may have been you know, still even descending. I was using a, a number of different charts to enter. But I entered at about um, 323.50. So let me color this green um, or this line green so that we know where we came in. This happens to be where um, Regeneron is now. So when I um, purchased, I purchased just 100 shares and the stock began to, um, when I first had it, um, it kind of paused a little bit and then it did run up to about 325. Now she had been at the time she was in a um, in a downtrend, and I thought that there was a, some really good support going back on this chart over on the left and, and another chart I was looking at. So I thought I had a pretty good area, but I went ahead anyways. And when the when the stock was at 325, I owned a hundred shares, so I sold an option, a call option, and I sold that call. Um, at 325 to expire it would have ordinarily been Friday of this week but it, because of the holiday it would be Thursday afternoon so I sold that call option at 325 and someone paid me five dollars for it and what that does let me put a horizontal line so we know what we're talking about so the the stock just ran up to here and I'm gonna make this a dotted line now so hopefully I'm going to make this a dotted line. Yep. Okay. So I sold a covered call right here and they paid me $5. Now, when you sell, um, this is a covered call. This is not a naked call. I own the hundred shares. So I'm selling the, um, the option against my hundred shares long, which happened to be in, a, in an IRA account. So what does that obligate me? When I sell an option, uh, I am selling the, the opportunity or the, the right, not necessarily you know, the, uh, the obligation, but the right for someone to take those shares away from me by Thursday. And why would they do so? Well, if it's trading above 325 um, by Thursday afternoon, then they may want to call those shares away so that they enjoy all the profits. Where would I? Where would my profits begin and end? Well, my profits would begin at three twenty-two fifty where I bought it, 
325 um, where I sold sold the option so from 322.50 to 325 is $2.50 plus if it's called away someone has paid me um, five dollars for that right and so in essence I would profit this and the the uh, the price the, I collect the premium so it would be like sell it, I would actually realize a profit of um, five dollars seven dollars and fifty cents um, in a very uh, short period of time now that's not what happened as soon as I sold the call she proceeded to crap out so when we got way down here at about 320 319 the call option that some poor speculator paid five dollars for went down in value went down in value all the way to two approximately so what did I do I still felt pretty good about it um, someone just paid me five for the option that same option is now only worth two so what did I do I went in and I bought to close that option and let's put this type of line in here so I sold the covered call here it went the price of the underlying went down yes my original position is down but the option also went down in value too so I, I bought the option back at um, for just two dollars and I pocketed the difference the three dollars so in essence what did I do if this was my original at 322 this is my original um, cost basis I can now bring this down from 323 um, 50 to guess what 320 50 and I bring this right down to right in here that's where it dropped my or brought my cost basis down okay right there so now this um, this option because I bought it to close actually goes away and this line just was there just to show you what I did I removed that so now I own the shares at 320.50 not 323.50 but 320 in the morning and then guess what happened it got below me a little bit shortly after I probably could have got you know could have bought the the option back to close with even less but then she reversed and guess what she ran up and so now my cost basis is 32050 she's at 330 and how much profit do I have in it I have seven dollars seven dollars and fifty cents right if I'm doing my math right um, yeah 320 um, 320 wait a second um, no 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 it's uh, $9 $9 in uh, in 50 right $9 and 50 cents but what did I do at the end of the day well I have to go show you I use this marker when we get right up into here right about in here and let me change this to a little dotted line I sold another covered call to some other speculator and this speculator wanted to pay me five dollars to take all my profits away between now and Friday if if Regeneron is three hundred and thirty doll is over three hundred and thirty dollars on on Thursday so if Regeneron is over three hundred and thirty then I get to keep his five bucks it would be for instance like me selling it at three thirty five so I kind of hope it is. So putting on a trade today, Monday, a hundred shares, I stand to almost make 15, 15 um, points. 
on a hundred shares, this is thirty-two thousand. I mean, it's it's over three percent. It happens to be this is a very uh, simple strategy, very re, you know um, a, a number of ways to play it, but very conservative. And the government actually actually lets you do this in your IRA. If tomorrow Regeneron drops back down here, well, guess what? The call I sold, I'm going to buy it again real cheap. And maybe it runs up again, and maybe I sell it to some other speculator. That's called selling covered calls, where you actually own the shares. And on a stock like this that moves around quite a bit, you sometimes get an opportunity to sell the covered calls, sometimes once or twice during the uh, a single day. Sometimes it just continues to run. The idea is, is that... Um, you know, you're selling someone the right to take the shares away from you because you own them. Or not, this isn't a, a naked call. And um, I just wanted to show that to everybody. It's a very um, simple way. Keeps you patient many times on your stock. And, um, uh, and a simple way to add income or get a return and even on a retirement uh, style account. Now for members, if you've got more detailed questions, please don't hesitate. You can also do the same thing. Can't do it in a retirement account, but you can do the same thing on the other side and that is um, selling a, um, uh, a covered put when you um, actually go short the shares and then sell a covered put. But can't do that in IRA and I, can't, I don't have the time here to explain that. I will explain that to our members and I will explain to any of our members that want to know the very specific detailed charts that I use to, um, to do this uh, particular trade. All right, I wish everyone the best. Uh, do your research, talk to your broker, talk to your broker, uh, watch some YouTube videos. Better yet, join us. Well, we do these all the time and uh, learn how to write a um, or sell covered calls against a long position. I'm Bagadon, StockMarketCaddy.com.